Sarah, um, one of the things that we are going to discuss tomorrow, we're going to do a recording of the CISO series podcast, is uh, the discussion of upskilling talent. I'm assuming you're upskilling your talent to some level, yes? Absolutely. Love to be able to um, grow talent. From the point where you say upskill to the point you actually make it happen, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made. How are you handling this? One, what does the business need? The other is also what what is that person's individual interest and what drives them? Um, so for me, I like to look at a combination of both and really understand um, from the, the resource perspective, from the talent perspective, what they care about, what they'd like to do with their career, and then think about how I can match that with the business need. You talk with a, with a staff member and they talk about what they want and then you think about how you can sort of train them in that direction. So uh, a lot of the investments that I've been able to help make in folks for their careers is actually the transition into people management. It's not something where you just automatically know how to do the day you become a people manager. It's a discipline that can be learned, studied, uh, and folks can really grow into it. And one of the things I care very much about is being able to give opportunities to, to grow into leadership roles to folks who are already on the team if there's interest in that. How do they get that training? How are you handling this? Through mentorship, so mm -hmm. a series of conversations around what's happening as that person takes on a people manager role, the one-on-ones, the coaching. What's like a formula of someone who kind of really embraces leadership uh, advantages? I think the common theme is that the person who really embraces leadership is in it for the right reasons. So they actually really care about the people. They care about the mission of the organization. What is the biggest gap, the biggest either misstep or thing you're like, ah, this is what I should have been doing at that time and I wasn't doing? The biggest thing I learn is to make sure that I'm learning from their directs also and getting that 360 feedback to help uh, to help that person So grow. to see how well their leadership efforts are actually happening. Right, and to see how um, their directs feel about it and how like are they able to thrive in that environment. Awesome, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure, David.